Hey guys, this is Hydro from X Trades, and um, yeah, for this video, I'm just going to be going over um, the most popular the most popular requested tickers for the week, and then go over some tickers that I think are setting up uh, pretty nicely um, that we should be watching for the weeks um, coming forward. So first, I'm just going to go over the indexes of SPY and QQQ. So we'll take a look at SPY first. So this week, um, it was a pretty ugly week, right? We went. Yeah, we touched, we tried to break out actually, we went all the way up to like 4, yeah, 410 when we closed around uh, 383, so not a great week, um, so clearly the downtrend has been broken this week, and there's a lot of volume on the sell, or there's a lot of volume on this pullback, right, so uh, this is definitely not some typical pullback, this is more like, th this pullback pretty much killed um, the rally that we had right we had a pretty nice rally starting from October and we were building up pretty nicely we had a solid uptrend and then this week we just completely f fell down um, yeah we just completely broke down and uh, and we broke down on some uh, on a rise in volume so this is definitely not a good sign for bulls and um, yeah I think we should be looking for another move down lower to 360 level I think that's very um, I think there's uh, that's very likely and um yeah so we did we did end up filling this gap here around uh, 381 on last friday so that is we we did go all the way down to 381 and then we saw some buying come in so that could be a good sign for bulls maybe there's 381 level holds and if so then there could be a long play if it can take uh, 392 again so on watch for that but right now this is looking pretty bearish for for uh, red days in a row so it's getting a little bit extended here so we might see some sort of bounce we could go all the way up to 391 and then get another rejection and then make uh, another leg lower so yeah that's pretty much what i'm watching on um spy and <clears throat> as i said last week we're still in a major downtrend and this week or last week definitely confirmed that with a with a pretty ugly pullback so next up qqq So QQQ is even weaker um, than SPY, like in terms of like, for example, SPY rallied, SPY rallied from 348 to all the way up to 410, right? That's 17.5%. QQQ didn't even get that much. Um, QQQ got, yeah, QQQ got 16.3%, which isn't bad, but um, still relatively weak compared to this SPY. And um, yeah, it's definitely not holding up well here. Um, again, four red days in a row, and then we should be watching out for this gap fill. Gap fill at 268 level, so there's a good chance that QQQ can come all the way back down to this level, and then we'll see if we can get a bounce off. But again, a uh, big pullback, rise in volume, so that's not a good sign for bulls. And there's a good chance that yeah, we're gonna retest this 268 level, and. Um, yeah, potentially we might see uh, a bound for like one or two days, form some sort of um, bear flag, and then um, make the next leg down. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm watching for both the SPY and QQQ. So next we'll go into some individual tickers. We'll take a look at Netflix first. Um, so Netflix had, uh, Netflix also broke down this week. So we were, we were, Netflix was actually acting really well the last couple weeks. It was tightening up, getting tighter. Testing this 331 level, which was a key resistance level. So we tested that and then we rejected. And then we actually gapped down on Thursday. And then on Friday, it was just pretty much a consolidation day. So unless unless we get above this trend line again, then it could be something that you want to watch out for, like on the long side. Take out this 331 level, tighten up, then that would be a very good long play. But Right now it's setting up more to be a short play. So if it takes out this 286 level, or you could even look at this uh, 280 level, that's a major support level. If it takes that out, then there's a good chance that this could go much, much lower and potentially even visit um, 247. But yeah, right now I'm, I would say Netflix looks a lot more bearish than bullish. Next up, Tesla. So for Tesla here, uh, Tesla is clearly in, again, a major downtrend, right? 
Um, it's been going lower and lower for weeks now. Um, it went from all the way up to 314 to uh, 150 in just, in just three months. Yeah, yeah, around three months. So this already had a really big pullback. And um, now we're at a key support level, uh, which is 150. And I think there's a good chance this level can hold. I'm not sure how long it can hold for, but I think we should at least get a bounce back to like 160s. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I think there's a good chance that we'll get a bounce, maybe back all the way up to back to 166 at best. But Tesla is definitely very weak right now. Look at that volume, right? A lot of yeah, definitely a lot of selling happened last week, and. Elon um, selling definitely is not helping um, the company at all and right now it's just yeah right now it's just not in a good spot and um, it's very weak one of the weakest big cap names and yeah it's just something that you don't want to touch right now trying to um, catch the bottom of this is like trying to catch uh, a knife falling so it's just way too risky and there's better places to um, put your money if you're trying to find the reversal play or a long setup. Um, next up, we can take a look at NVIDIA. So NVIDIA has been it bottom all the way back in October, and it's been building a pretty nice uptrend. But just uh, yeah, you know, just recently or just yeah, just last Friday, it broke the downtrend. We'll see if we can get a bounce back up. But right now, it's not looking too great. Um, NVIDIA is still one of the strongest stocks compared to like um, the other big cap names. So this. Name still holding up pretty well. Uh, it has a pretty solid uptrend. I think there's a good chance that we can bounce next week. Um, there's yeah, definitely some resistance at this 173 level. Maybe we get a bounce all the way back up there, and then we'll see what happens, right? I think there's a good chance that uh, we continue pulling back um, just because the market is so weak right now. But yeah, we'll see what happens. NVIDIA is one of the strongest stocks, though. Um, Next up, we'll take a look at mRNA. So mRNA, um, yeah, this stock's had a really, really nice week. So first up, there's this major base, right? It's been building out since all the way back in March this year. So it's been trying to break out um, here, tried to break out here, but failed. Tried to break out here, but uh, now it's, it was consolidating. And then finally made a really big uh, breakout move. On huge volume right so this is this was an a plus setup this was it's been consolidating for nine months um, tried to break this resistance many times but failed and it finally broke through with big volume so this is like the definition of like a great uh, chart right this is exactly what you want to see and this there's a good chance that this can go a lot higher right it has the volume it has it has all the characteristics of a big winner and it's one that I'm definitely keeping on watch. So right now it's building, uh, it's building the low flag here. Um, on Friday, it pulled back in a, a bit too much for like a proper bull flag. You don't want to see, um, yeah, you just don't want to see stocks pulling back that much on one day. So it pulled back like 6%, 6 to 7%. Um, that's fine though, uh, as long as we consolidate. And um, yeah, we, as long as we consolidate and hold this 187 level, I think it's fine. And there's a good chance that um, the stock can see a leg, uh, an, a leg up higher. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. But this is one of the one of the better stocks in the market right now, for sure. Next up, take a look at Cox. So this is also another name that's been holding up really well. So um, like mRNA, this one's been building a nice base since um, August, and then it broke out um, early November time. So this one already did break out, and now it's just uh, consolidating, right, after a solid move. So right now, I'm just looking for this flag, potentially. Potentially, it's, um, yeah, it can see, a, it can break out here. Right now, it's uh, building a flag here. It's tightening up. And potentially um, next week or in a couple of days that we can see a breakout move um, but the key level key psychological level is going to be 100 here so we want to see that get taken out and if that gets taken out there's a good chance we can go up to the next resistance level which is 108 um, but yeah this one's definitely on watch just because it's been holding up really nice compared to all the other stocks out there so um, i think this one has potential and then last one for today it's TME. So yeah, this stock is insanely strong, right? 
on, there's not a lot of stocks in the market that look like this right now. There, there's not a lot of charts that um, look like this right now in the market. The stock is just insanely strong, and I think there's a good chance that this stock can continue to build out or continue to um, act strong and go a lot higher, right? So this one also has a really, uh, it had a really big pullback all the last year and this year. Now it's been consolidating since March again. It's a really nice base here. And now it's just, yeah, it's just getting ready to completely blow, right? This one, this one has potential to go um, exponential, right? Um, has all the characteristics, really nice volume on this, on these updates. Um, really, yeah, it's just building out a nice flag right now. And yeah, this one just looks really good. And the next target for it, <clears throat> for it would be around this 8.83 level. And then another one at this 10.9, uh, the 10.0, uh, or just, you could round it up to say 11. And then another one at 15, another one at 16. So these are the key levels so far for TME. Um, yeah, like I said before, it's just acting really well here. Not a lot of stocks have had a really nice breakout and are actually continuing to hold. So if this continues to hold, uh, tighten up and build a flag and then break out, then there's a good chance this could go a lot higher. So yeah, this one's definitely on the watch list. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this week. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely leaning more bearish than bullish for the market for the coming week. There's just a lot more signs that there's more weakness going on or there's more there's a lot more weakness in the markets right now and i don't think the odds are in your favor to try um try going for long setups currently so right now either sit in cash or look for short setups but um yeah that's pretty much all i have for you guys for this week um yeah thank you